Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am super excited because I'm going to be talking and doing this look. It's a very natural look. I actually didn't want to do any kind of video today just because, you know, your girl was a lazy or whatever. So I was just doing my research and like getting to know some really fun and juicy stuff about some beauty communities, things that have been happening in the industry. So I was like, you know, since I'm a part of the industry, when we're there, I am a YouTuber. I do give my opinions now and then, here and then. I don't do much of that shit because like, I feel like it's so much drama and I don't really like to get into drama. I am so bullshit free away. Like I don't like to like, mm -mm, girl is not here for that. But yeah, there are some points I really wanted to address and I wanted to talk about some stuff that's been happening and yeah and i feel like even though i'm a very small and i have a very small scale of followers and i'm you know i'm i've just started doing this shit i feel like i still get like the freedom to speak so i was like you know why let's go ahead and talk on my youtube even though i know some of you would be like like you know like you didn't even like buy the product and like you're not even reviewing the shit but like girl why the fuck you gotta buy some shit like like that so yeah, if you want to know what I've spoken about this whole Jacqueline Hill shit, then please continue watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Alright guys, uh, now that I have already primed my face, I am going to be using my tinted... Um, tinted uh sunscreen this is by bioderma it is a uh, super good and to be honest i've been using this for a while now it is for sensitive skin which i do have i don't have like really sensitive skin but i do have sensitive skin so year of just realizing stuff and everyone around me we're all just like realizing things actually i do consider myself having a sensitive skin even though i i know my skin is not that sensitive but i feel like why not just take care of it and even though the sun is gonna go down i still think it's so important to wear your sunscreen even if you are going out at, at night not only because it protects your skin but also like i feel like it keeps your foundation in place and it just and it keeps your skin super like glowy and nice which i really like so i'm gonna do that and i'm just using my gentle hands to apply my sunscreen um this tinted actually this tinted uh sunscreen is not so tinted as you guys can see it doesn't cover all it doesn't cover your flaws it's just it has a bit of a color to it so yeah uh, of course you can't just like wear this and like go out unless you wanna but i wouldn't um because i feel like then it makes your skin look pinkish and some kind of a weird kind of a look which obviously nobody wants to go for i mean unless you want to go for it so so i actually wanted to come out here and actually want to you know wanted to do this tutorial for a very funny reason uh, i've been seeing a lot of videos and i think i personally feel like i am part of the beauty community because like i've been uh into makeup for a very long time for about four years three years i've been doing makeup and like i just uh, i love learning about makeup and i love doing makeup and i just love doing it on other people okay before i get started i am using my uh, luminous uh, plus smooth foundation by maybelline it's the fit me maybelline foundation and it's for normal to dry skin so i'm in the shade 220 and I'm gonna take my beauty blender and I'm gonna start like I just put some beauty uh, some product on the beauty blender I'm just gonna start applying it to my skin so yeah uh, back to the story why I actually wanted to come here and actually wanted to film this look so uh, I've been seeing this videos about Jaclyn Hale and her lipsticks and um, I've seen so many reviews and I've seen mixed feelings about that that product and like everyone's just has like mixed feeling about it. Obviously I did not purchase the product like and why in the world would I even purchase the product? Some of you will be like oh Anzia but you didn't even buy the product so how can you talk like that? But I feel like why would you even buy a product which is 
super disgusting and it is like puking like i want to puke when i i literally wanted to puke when i saw the product and people like actually wearing it on their lips like i know like a lot of blog i know a lot of influence blah, blah, blah. i know a lot of influencers actually you know went on youtube and did a review on it and like they found hair oh, and they no. found some bubbles oh, in it and they still had the audacity to actually apply it was super disgusting i was like okay you know like each is to their own so like whatever but you know i was like wow people actually wanted to apply that onto their lips and i feel like lips are such sensitive part of your like everything is super sensitive like you you don't know what like what body part can be sensitive some for some it can be eyes for some it can be like your cheeks or some can be like your eyelids or anything like whatever the hell it is you know what i mean and for me it's like like lips girl are you gonna literally like risk your lips for that review that you want to do i mean okay like people were being nice and they were like trying to give her the, ch the benefit the benefit of the doubt you know and they were like okay you know let's just try out the product and see how it is if it blends nicely even though there is hair on it like okay there sometimes you do find like a fuzz in some particular things like maybe on your brush you'll find a fuzz or you know like you might find a fuzz here like on top of your freaking thing mine is dirty I'm not saying that i'm the most hygienic person but like girl bye i mean you can remove that shit off but those lipstick had like some really bad shitty things in it and i was like you know we're just so speechless like and the fact that jacqueline hill is such a huge youtuber and she's been in the industry for such a long time coming from her and like she's had a lot of issues with her launches the only launch that was amazing was her jacqueline hill palette from morphe i feel like it was really nice and like some people would think like oh and see your opinion like really like you're really gonna give an opinion about jacqueline Hill? you're just like you just start youtube but like girl bye because like everybody has an opinion to talk and i feel like everyone should be able to talk and whatever they feel like even though you have one subscriber or two subscribers you still have the right to talk and like to let people know that that's disgusting that's not normal i mean honestly and okay plus this is not a drama channel like i'm not here to rant or like i mean i am ranting but like i'm not i'm not gonna be doing this on a regular basis but i just feel like it's so disgusting and people are actually applying it to their lips and they're like oh no let's just get, like i understand jacqueline is going through a divorce she she was going through a divorce she had a like a huge shit going on in her life if you've got like so much shit going on i feel like you shouldn't like you know talk big and like be like oh you know um my products are perfect oh i i stand by my product and like and then there was another tea you know they call it tea so i'm gonna call it tea too honey there was this another thing where you know uh there was this girl who tweeted uh this tweet she was like oh i actually use a product and there were like balls and fuzz and then jackson hill was like oh your lips might be dirty or something some shit like some shit like that you know and done with my foundation and i'm gonna be going ahead and applying my concealer i'm using the elf concealer in the shade medium sand all right back to what i was saying uh yeah and like you know she was like oh i stand by my product and i think your lips are dry and that is why your lipsticks were kind of your lipstick was ashy and that is so disgusting because like how can you even like do that but like i'm just shocked at the fact that how can the quality control team just let that product out of the freaking factory like you know how can you let that product out of the factory without even like noticing any shit i mean um and again people will say girl you didn't even purchase the product but like girl there's like pictures all over twitter and like everywhere where people are showing like people are literally swatching it and they're like balls and fuzz coming out of it why do you think even though just to review that shit and like spend 18 
dollars or whatever just to like show people like you know what actually it's like still should but when like I, I don't understand why would you why would you even do it and and even if uh Jacqueline Hill comes out with another batch which she always says oh I'm gonna fix this I'm gonna fix the second batch and make sure that the product is perfect I feel like she's she, she's so nice like I feel like she's so freaking talented like I love the way she does her makeup it's so gorgeous like everything is so neat and like you know it, it's it's so popping but like girl like when it comes to your product why are you always like a step back like all right uh so to contour my face i'm also using a cream contour and i'm using the la girl pro concealer to contour my face uh so yeah so i'm i've just applied to the to the face but not to my nose because even though this product doesn't dry out i still feel like it's a way better to like first blend out the outer and i just felt like her marketing was super amazing like when i first saw her like page on instagram i was like wow like you know her her concept is so great like it's diamonds and it's so gorgeous it's like every girl's like shit like anybody want would want that lipstick in her vanity in, in their vanity and like everything was so popping and like the lipstick the packaging was so good but like but I feel like the whole um, the whole situation was so much like Fire Festival. I'm not even gonna lie. I don't know if you guys watched that show. It's called it's on Netflix and it's called Fire Festival, and it's super dope. So you guys should better like watch it if you haven't. It's like so entertaining, um, and the fact that that guy has the balls to do like shit. Like you guys need to watch it to like understand what I'm saying. It's really like. It's really good honestly and i felt like the whole situation was so like fire festival like she did amazing marketing and like she she she, she did the best she could uh but like when it comes when it came to the real product she was like girl bye so yeah and again i'm not hating i really like jacqueline hill and the fact that she works hard i i assume um i've been watching her as well for a while and like I, when you, when I was into like YouTube, the only people I would watch was Carly Bible and Jacqueline Hill and um, and there were these two twin sisters. I don't know who they were exactly. I don't remember their name, but they were super amazing. Like I loved their tutorial. It was so good and promise fun, of course. Like I would always like watch her. Um, even till date, I always watch her. I feel like she she never ages. So yeah, I would watch these people and like Jacqueline Hill was super amazing and she was always talented in my view. I always felt like she did amazing makeup and like I just felt like she could never make mistake. Like she could never make mistake. Like Jeffrey Star would never make mistake and he doesn't. Like his products are nice and I feel like he knows his product. So I felt like they're both in the same level. Like. But yeah, Jacqueline Hill always, I feel like she's, I don't know, I don't even know if I should say this, but I feel like she's drunk whenever she's like making her freaking products because you can go wrong all the time. And there were so many batches, how can all of them just go wrong? And I feel so bad for her, but whatever, you know, uh, you shouldn't make such mistakes in the first place. I mean, all of us make mistakes, even if I have a beauty brand or if I come out with a brand and like i make mistakes of course i can make mistakes because i'm a human you know at the end of the day but like i wouldn't talk shit like i wouldn't be like oh my god like my product is like the best and you guys are shit and honestly i'm not talking as a youtuber or anything i'm actually talking like a consumer who would put their you know their money into such shit and like still make like be like oh you know no it's just okay it's just a fuzz no honey it, that's disgusting i have just applied my contour and I'm, I'm just gonna be blending that in also i have another story that i really want to tell you guys but that's only if i and if i get to know what's the end of the story because i'm still waiting to know what's the end of the story so there is another story that is like super you know i want to actually talk about and um 
again I am not hating on anybody I really love these people and when people people who you love and like you know influencer you love and you really like look up to when they kind of f with you you're just like you know what I mean you're like kind of upset you're like oh I actually trust this is I actually trusted this youtuber or this influencer and then I mean the fact that they can be super rude is you know kind of like upsetting oh and also I'm taking this girly stuff brush this is the E15 brush and it's a local brand so if you guys are in Dubai hit her up her brushes are amazing and super affordable so yeah I really like her brushes to be honest you guys I'm contouring my face so what I'm gonna do is take this Beau the Body Shops um, press powder and I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush and just gonna you know blend all that in now I'm gonna take my Rodeal powder and I'm just gonna like take a beauty blender and just like you know scoop the product out and then you know just try to like get some of my beauty blender and just tap a bit on my hands just so the product is even and then just brighten up my under eye so lately I've been doing my research and like I've been noticing that people should not bake their eyes just because it's not good because it's gonna give you a lot of crease and I feel like that's true and like I was a freaking bake girl like I would love to bake and I might still do it for once in a while but like I wouldn't do it like on a regular basis anymore I would like always like be like oh my god like baking is mache but honey no it isn't because like it just f's up your face and you don't want that right, so I've just applied my demi wispies on and okay just want to see if it's done perfectly my freedom cosmetic blush palette and I'm gonna mix all of them together all of them together because why not so I'm gonna quickly apply some lip liner so for my lips I'm taking this color by wet and well it's called nudie patootie it's cute it's a cute name and i'm just gonna apply that a little bit i don't know how it's gonna look like it's just straight out of the box so okay not bad i'm not digging in for the look i mean for this lip but it's okay it's just i mean can i switch this shit off i just top it out with some gloss i'm using the fenty it looks nice now Oh, it actually looks nice on top of a gloss. I'm just taking a Becca highlighter and just gonna apply some. Just gonna put some on top of my brow bone. And yep. Alright guys, this is the end of the look and I hope you guys enjoyed watching me talk and do my look so if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe to this channel and uh give this video a like if you guys enjoyed it uh at least a little bit if you guys enjoyed it then give this video a thumbs up i guess but yeah um until next time love you bye